Greetings, beautiful souls. Thank you for walking with me on a journey of the five dimensional life living in the human body, life of the divine beings occupying the human bodies. The fifth dimensional life in the human body on the earth means that we thrive in the frequency of love and happiness, have a healthy body and manifest prosperity and abundance that will support our life on earth. So for the past few days, one particular message kept coming to my mind. And it started with a post on the Facebook that I have seen the post that I posted several years ago from the Deepak Chopra. Every change is preceded by chaos. Now there's something that we all we agreed upon to. Whenever you look at life, at your life, and the time of the changes, especially of those big kind of the changes and shifts, there has been the chaos and mess and the things were happening left and right and you were so stressed out and then something happened when you when it happened when the change happened and you started to relax into this new part of yourself and continue on the journey so this is normal in our life and will be normal for the rest of our life because what we are doing the change is the evolution. An evolution in animal species or in any kind of the living species on earth are achieved by stress, by the increased suffering, pain, stress. Because all that works as an engine, as a push to something better. It's either gonna break you or make you. And it is not something that we as the human beings or even the extraterrestrial beings or divine beings living in this body have invented. It is something that is a part of the natural law of Earth and the universe. So the change evolution on Earth, as we know, and as we can look into, let's say, the animal species or the uh, plant kingdom species, happen by the suffering, pain, and extreme kind of distress. I want you to pick up that word stress. The stress means that our nervous system is pushed beyond what it can possibly hold or support you at the moment. And it's challenged to grow a little bigger or maybe rewire itself in a little different neural pathways within the body. And this different way either to grow or the different neural pathways, which I do believe that's how it happened, support a new program, new program within your nervous system that is able to encompass the changes. So when we change and when we evolve, we literally let go of our old self and our new self is better and new and improved. So what I'm trying to say here in a very short time is, it's not that we exchange one for the other. We are here with the old, which we need to accept and understand and forgive ourselves and be compassion to ourselves and give ourselves enough love and courage to grow and the grow means that it's get a tiny bit bigger so we stretch the old into the tiny bigger kind of the um, nervous system or the cell it's almost like you grow a half of inch or the inch and if you're on the spiritual journey you know that this is not an impossible thing we can grow and um, inch to inches. It's actually quite a interesting phenomenon that is real. Going back to my original thought is this. When you grow, when you evolve, you do not feel yourself with your old, whatever you are doing, but you literally make a space for the new. What is that new thing that you will do? What is that new thing that you're going to learn? What is that new thing that will help you try? Let's compare it to the animals. Let's say when there's, you know, and there's not enough food within the waters or the oceans, the animals evolve to be an animals living on the land. Now I do understand that this takes a considerable um, time and several generations for it to happen but we are guided at our time right now to do it in one lifespan 
So this compare of when the animals were forced to evolve to become a land animals, they have to literally go through this excruciating process of developing ability to breathe, live, hunt, survive on land. So when it eventually happened and they started to living on the land, they had to embrace, develop, master new skills, right? And so that's happening with us. We are learning to change, shift, evolve from the three-dimensional being of suffering into the fifth-dimensional being who thrives, who thrives with the multidimensional abilities. What are our multidimensional abilities? They literally are based on our five basic senses. Sense of the smell within the first chakra, which is supposed to keep you safe and secure, evolve into extraordinary smell or sense of the smell that can help you in your time traveling experience when you journey. The second chakra, happiness and sense of the taste will help you to connect to many timelines based on what kind of the food you may have liked or even did not like. Because guess what? In all those lifetimes, you have had a body that you need to sustain with something. And then you are go into the third chakra, extraordinary sense of sight. Your third eye is connected to your third chakra, which also has that feeling ability and empathic ability, which many people want to avoid. If you want to develop this multidimensional ability, you have to be able to control your empathic abilities and what you're feeling from the others, that it doesn't affect you the way as it may affecting you right now, but it will support you and help you to thrive in this world. So those are all these new abilities that we are developing that are actually already built up within the body. The four chakra connection to love, to our soul, an extraordinary touch of the extraordinary sense of touch. It is the touch of your soul. And if the soul come from the God source, then your extraordinary touch has a touch of love of God or the God source, creator, source, almighty, whatever it is that you would like to call it. That source is within you. And when you touch something with your hands, the source is touching it, energizing it, giving a healing. But you are the facilitator. You are not just a tool who beams this energy through you. You are a conscious multidimensional being who knows, who will know how to use and utilize this ability, how to become the God creator in the earth, on the earth, help to co-create the world that would be the heaven among the constellations and the stars of this universe. And we have our fifth chakra, extraordinary sense of sound. The sound is the part of our thinking process, a quiet, a loud expression. This is our creative place. This is something that I'm gonna share with you from my new upcoming book, which um, fifth chakra is the human extraordinary ability. One day when we will be sitting among the, let's say the round temple, temple of the council of light or the council of this universe. And they says, oh, here are the human species. What are your extraordinary abilities that we would like to master? And we'll be sitting there all humbled and said, we can create it sound. Sound can make the most amazing creation in the physical dimensions. And there are more physical dimensions than on Earth. And if you can create, of course, you can destroy it. But we have mastered that. We have overcome the mind of the destruction. And we have mastered the mind of the creation. That will be a wonderful day, one day. And we will sit there, we will look at our past, all humbled all content, understand all of this and teach the others how to create through the power of sound. 
Those are the five multidimensional abilities that are already within us. And so, as I open and begun, every change is preceded by chaos. I talk about it for actually a few days before I made this video, because all I hear from the Pleiadians is, you can thrive in chaos. We have to learn to thrive in chaos. We do not have to accept the chaos as the part of our changes. And well, we do because it's a part of it. But what I mean is we don't have to accept the pain and the suffering and the pain and the suffering and the stress. We can step to it. We can learn to meditate, which means to quiet your mind for a little bit, to go within and sit within. Stabilize yourself. And it's like you are walking through the storm, but you are in the eye of the storm and nothing touches you. And of course, once in a while, we take that step left of the right, which may not be completely right, and you get stressed out, and you get worried, and you get fear that the things that you plan, you would like to do, will not work out. And at this kind of the level of the game of life, we have to learn to trust the divine guidance. You are not alone anymore. You are guided by that God source. When you activate your five extraordinary ability, you are deeply connected to your soul. Now, if your soul, again, I will repeat myself, came from the God source, you are guided by the God source, yet it's the part of you. You are the God and the God is you. God is within you. You are it. And so it's like you, you know, before we anchor ourselves inside of the earth, like the boat get anchored in the middle of the ocean, now we anchor ourselves back into the God source and says, I'm ready to begin this journey of the returning home. But before I do, I will bless this world with what I have learned. I will learn and master the power of the creation through the sound. I, when I leave this world, I will strive to make it better than before I entered here. And so, learning to control the chaos, to thrive in the chaos, is our next step. So for the, for the past few days, I had so many plans, and none of them manifested. She's really interesting. And instead of, you know, be upset or stressed out about it and so much on, I says, okay, there are other things to do, and I will go with flow. I will follow to divine guidance, and I will not control the outcome of the situation. And I will just to take it step by step. Sometimes we all have to take it just a day by day. And everything is working out actually better than expected. Because perhaps we are learning to let go of our way, how we would like to do the things, and let the nature help us to evolve. See, when these animals were forced to become a land animals, they did not navigate that, the inner evolution. They just, you know, suffer and they allow the nature to take its own course. When you are uh, pregnant and you grow a baby within your womb, you are not controlling how that baby is going to grow or when is the time for the nose to form, how the kidneys to form. We don't do that. The innate nature of our body takes care of that. So we have that innate nature within us and we have that outside nature that is connected to the flow of the God source. It's like this beautiful flow of the energy that we finally connected to. And so perhaps we are need to learn that we are driving our sailboat and instead of coming from the point A to the point B, we let the wind of the God source blow in our sails and we will enjoy the ride, get navigated gently to where we would like to go. You do have to have your goals. You do need to know what is that you want to be very specific about it. Don't take me wrong. They just go naively where you would like to go. But it's not about the destination or how do you get there. It's about to let the destiny to guide us to our destination. I hope that sounds English. 
because it sounds perfectly English in my head. So let the source, let the destiny to take us to the place where we would like to go. Perhaps we need to go through many different islands until we get to that place where we would like to go. Perhaps there's a one straight shot in this journey and it's gonna be fabulous. And, but the most important part is when you realize that your life is chaotic, when there's way too many things happening from the left to the right, then you want to sit down, you want to walk outside, maybe connect with the trees, and you want to meditate. You want to spend a little bit more time in the meditation, and you want to center yourself within and really see what is it that I need to control and what is it I need to learn to trust. And at some time, you do need to take a leap of faith and completely blind trust that your guidance, what you are receiving, is good. Now, always test the energy three times that you know you are guided by the right forces. If you have read my books, you know that I teach about the power of the pendulum and you ask the energy, the source, three times, are you coming from love and light? Are you coming from love and light? Are you coming from love and light? If you receive yes answer, then you are connected to the right flow. If not, Maybe you need a little reconnection on the journey. Okay, that will be enough sharing for today. A little announcement here. On the June 6th starts my new classes, Language of Light classes, which will be, uh, I don't know if it's a three week or four weeks. I think it's a three week class. It's kind of funny because I'm teaching them, right? I know I have some schedule for the three weeks, some for the four weeks for the practice. Um, so please take a look at it. They start on the June 6th. And here is the, just a copy of the new printed book. Um, it's literally just a my test copy. So cleansing and energetic protection. Now this is the old book, this is not my new book, but for the years you've been asking me if I can uh, allow it to have it in the print. So I finally, finally did it. It's on the Amazon, you can order your copy today and you can share with me if you like it. Uh, this book is literally full of the explanation how to do cleansing. There's a step-by-step -step descriptions. So you can do this. You don't have to really pay somebody. I don't know how much of money. And I know that you, some of you overspend your money a lot. So here you go. Here's a simple guide where you can do what you were born to do. It is time to try. And it is my greatest joy and love to thrive here on earth with you until we go back home. You have a fabulous time, love and light from my heart to yours and love and light. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.